Welcome back again. Hope you guys all like this animation series. I am very much sure you're excited to watch this video. Before I make this, I was too. So without further ado, let's start the video. Number 1. Mr. Krabs Mr. Krab is one of the 10 main characters in the SpongeBob SquarePants franchise. He is a miserly red crab who lives in an anchor with his daughter, Pearl, who is a young whale. He is the owner and founder of the Krusty Krab restaurant, as well as the employer of both SpongeBob and Squidward. Mr. Krabs was designed by Steven Hillenberg, a marine biology teacher. He is voiced by American actor Clancy Brown. T. Brown, and I play Mr. Krabs. Why well, you're watching some little kid's shorts, I don't know why. Here is the real life Mr. Krabs. Look at his eyes, same as in the series. There are most different things in this dress. In real life, he has no dress. That's the baby crabs in real life. So cute, right? Isn't it? Comment below. In real life, Mr. Krabs is known as the Red King Crab. The Red King Crab is a benthic animal found at the bottom of the ocean in New Leaf and New Horizons. Diving is the only way of capturing it. Next, number two, Squidward Tentacles. Squidward JQ Tentacles is the secondary protagonist of the SpongeBob SquarePants series. Squidward, with a large nose, works as a cashier at the Krusty Krab. He is SpongeBob's next door neighbor with a dry, sarcastic sense of humor. Squidward lives in a house shaped like an Easter Island head. He works as the cashier at Krusty Krab, a job he absolutely loathes. Squidward is a very selfish individual and displays an unjustified air of superiority. Squidward is voiced by American actor Roger Bumpass. Look at the real-life Squidward. He is amazingly very much same and looks like a little bit of a bodybuilder. Um, however, you would be surprised to know that he's not actually real-life Squidward. This is the fan-made realistic version. And here is the real-life Squidward. His species is an octopus. SpongeBob Squidward was made based on this octopus. You can find him in real life, at the bottom of the sea. You also be shocked that many like to eat octopus like Squidward. Maybe the test is very yummy. Do you like to eat octopus? Let me know in the comments below. Next, number three, Gary the Snail. Gary the Snail is SpongeBob's pet sea lion who lives with him in the pineapple home and vocalizes like a cat. He has a pink shell that turns purple in the dark with indigo spots and a real spiral. He has eye stalks that hold together his scarlet green eyes with vermilion pupils. Other snails in SpongeBob can understand and talk to him. Although Gary is a pet, he loves to do hard work. When SpongeBob has made his restaurant called SpongeBob's Place, Gary was hired as the cashier. He briefly played the role of the DJ for The Sharks. Gary was voiced by American actor and comedian Tom Kenny. Here is the real-life Gary. He is as beautiful as he appeared in the series. Although Gary lives in SpongeBob's home underwater, real-life maximum time you can find them in the land snail, but also can find numerous species of sea snails and freshwater snails. Look at his shell, which is also looking very hard, and you know it also saves them when they are in danger. Next, number four, Patrick Starr. Patrick Starr is one of the 10 main characters of the animated series SpongeBob SquarePants. He is SpongeBob's best friend as well as one of the two neighbors. He is naive and overweight pink sea star and first appears in the first episode. He lives under a rock in the underwater city of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob and Squidward are his two neighbors. He and SpongeBob both tend to bother Squidward, though they do it unknowingly and have good intentions. He is voiced by American actor Bill Foggerbach. Hold son. What do you think? Does he also look the same as he does in the series? Not actually. Look here, is the real-life Patrick Starr. I think you also thought about how he could look the same in real life. Let's clarify, it's actually the realistic version of Patrick Starr. Really look at him, so amazing, and it's clear who made it. He's a big fan of Patrick Starr. But if you're still disappointed with the real-life Patrick Starr, then see this. This is the real life of Patrick Starr. Yes, he's a starfish, or somebody called Sea Star in real life. Starfish can be found only in the sea. Next, number five, Mrs. Puff. 
Mrs. Puff is also the main character of the series. She is SpongeBob's teacher at boating school, where she teaches students how to drive boats like underwater cars. Mrs. Puff is very paranoid and has a history of mental instability. Mrs. Puff seems to have a rather very dark history, according to various episodes, and may also suggest a far more sinister mental instability. Do you want to know about it? Comment below. Mrs. Puff was voiced by American actress Mary Jo Catlett. Don't look so sad. Actually, Mrs. Puff is a puffer fish who wears a sailor uniform. This is a real life puff. It's magically the same as Mrs. Puff. Look at the lips. It's looking like she's ready to kiss. Maybe somebody wants to kiss her. Do you want to give her a kiss? Puffer fish is also found at the bottom of the sea. Who's never seen a fish like this in real life? They are typically small to medium in size, although a few species can reach rather greater than 50 centimeters. Next, number 6. Pearl Crabs Pearl Crabs is a teenage whale and the main character in the SpongeBob SquarePants series. She is a young whale who lives in a hollow anchor with her father, Mr. Crabs. When Pearl grows up, Mr. Crabs wants her to continue the family business by inheriting the Krusty Crab and becoming its owner. Pearl's brain is the largest out of all in the Bikini Bottom residence. She is skilled in math which is why Mr. Krabs would like it if she becomes a bookkeeper for his restaurant. She is voiced by American actress Lori Allen. Hey everybody, it's Lori, and it's March. And guess why I have on glasses? Here is the real life of Pearl Krabs. Although this is not much of a relatable look, this was made based on the fish in real life. It's called a sperm whale. This is real life, and series Pearl has the same look on its head and teeth. No hair, no love sign, and a big match is their long head. This can also be found in the sea. Next, number 7, Sandy Cheeks. Sandy Cheeks are one of the most favorite characters of the series. She is a squirrel from the surface, who wears a diving suit and lives in an air-filled glass tree dome to survive underwater. Sandy is a thrill seeker who loves extreme sports and karate. She works as a scientist and built both her tree dome and her air suit and her helmet herself. During her adulthood, she joined a company called Tree Dome Enterprises. This company sent her down to Bikini Bottom to study undersea life. Sandy, SpongeBob, and Patrick are very good friends. Although SpongeBob mostly likes to learn karate, many times Sandy is annoyed by Patrick's stupidity. She is voiced by American television and film voice actress Carolyn Lawrence. Howdy! Happy Halloween! Keep it scary! Bye bye What do you think? Can real-life Sandy, I mean, Squirrel, can they live underwater? <laughs> no way, she will die in just a few minutes. For that reason, she is out of the water. And she also has the same suit, although it's not needed, out of the water. And this is the suitless real-life Sandy Cheeks, a red squirrel. The red squirrel is a species of tree squirrel, commonly through Europe and Asia. The red squirrel is an arboreal, primarily herbivorous rodent. Keep watching to the end. After the end of this video, other characters are coming in the next part, including SpongeBob. And also, one more important thing is that SpongeBob has a big surprise, who has never seen real-life SpongeBob.